Let's talk about Bamberger. It's a great park because although it's very small, it actually is a great trailhead to go to OP Schnapel. From Bamberger, you can actually go south and you can go through the Leon Creek down into the OP Schnapel area, so it's actually pretty fun. And it actually is a good park because there's many other little options that you have. So you find these two rocks right here, and this is where you're going to start. And the reason why it's pretty cool is to take a look at that. Now it's unfortunate, you're not really going to get a really good sense of depth from here. But uh, I'm going to reset the camera so it'll give you an idea. I started with my helmet camera because I wanted you guys to get the first view when you're going down through those two rocks. It's a lot steeper than it really looks, and so that's why I came back and did it again the other way. Bamberger is a wonderful park for people who are just getting started in the whole concept of doing uh, basic hiking or basic mountain cycling. It's relatively flat. Uh, there are some small hill areas. And even though being a small park, it does have some decent trails. If you don't want to do single track like this one in particular, they do have uh, an all limestone one that's available more on the uh, eastern end of the park. And then if that doesn't float your boat, then they have an actual asphalt uh, running area for those joggers who like that particular kind of stuff. I like uh, Bamberger because it actually leads you to certain places and one of my favorite ones is the one on the other side of Babcock. So let me show you what that looks like. So at one time or another, Bromberger is small enough that you'll probably do all the trails within a short amount of time. It's important that uh, if you can, try to look for this particular rock formation right here. Now, there are many outs from Bromberger to the old road, which no longer is a functioning road, except for public service. What's important is how to get there to another part of the secret half of Bromberger. Because B is actually connected to another wilderness area that used to be open to the public. And to this day, it still technically is just through here. This part of the park is now, reserved for a birds of prey. So for any of you who like to bird, as you can see, uh, supposedly you're gonna be able to see birds, birds of prey around here. Uh, yeah, whatever. To be absolutely honest it's with you, fun. I didn't see any birds of prey. What matters is, is that it is a single track and it is a perimeter track, which means that it's really only one large track that goes around the whole particular wilderness park here. There is some segues that uh, I would mention to you mountain cyclists that would actually enjoy. So I'd love to show them all to you, but <laughs> then make this video a little too long and uh, do a little exploration uh, for yourselves to come on over, which makes Bomberger a wonderful park to get started in. What will happen now is that, as I mentioned before, this is going to be a park that connects you to go into OP Schnapel. And so I'm going to show you the trail that I take from Bomberger to go to OP Schnapel. And that is in the next video. From the parking lot, you can see that I took a right instead of a left to go to the other rock formation. It's very important that once you pass these rocks right here, it's actually a little tricky, but you see this little trail path. Once you go through this, I'm gonna give you this. This is probably the most fun part of this entire park. The drop is great, but this one, you're gonna be dodging trees, cacti. It is a single track and to be, you know, a little bit on the safety side, it's actually a little dangerous. <laughs> it will lead you to the bridge. Once you get to it, what will happen is, is that um, if you keep going down south, uh, from the bridge area, you're going to actually end up in OP Schnapel, and uh, you'll have a ton of fun. You know, the riverbed is actually pretty uh, interesting. The only suggestion that I have is that 
uh, as you get past the pond and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it just make sure you go more to the right if you're coming from Bromberger that way it won't be so complicated because it's a riverbed on the left and we all know how we hate riverbeds I hope you enjoyed the show and have a good day